Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Morally, Morally for, for Advantage. advantage. festive treat you may have put me on the scent and trail of these beautiful little kids. So the Mrs. Kaiser got wind of the fact that uh, Lidl were doing discounted 172nd FX kits, £7 each. Yeah, £6.99 retail. I don't know if they've done this before, maybe they have. Sort of for Christmas, so this is very time sensitive I assume when they sell out they sell out. Their particular kits, we're going to have a look at them, particular type of kits. Of their fix, yes. they're, they're they're like their easy build things and so forth. Allegedly, that's that's the thinking. So you picked up a few. There was a few more than this, but they were mostly airplanes. Not much more. There's two other um, options, which is the Tomahawk, which I'm it's a P40 Tomahawk. variant or something, and then that, which is some German jet, I guess. It's very yellowy looking right. in okay. colour. Then it were. So what we got here? Tiger One, Fire Sherman one? Firefly, Supermarine Spitfire Mark One A. So very early Battle very of Britain, maybe oh. even, maybe even before. Perfect. Battle of Britain era, early Spitfire, and a Willie's Jeep. But it's not just a Jeep. <laughs> it's not just a Jeep. We'll look at that in a bit. But all yeah. right. Well, should we look at the Jeep first? Yes. Let's look at the Jeep. Do you want to get the? Do you want to get Let the? Let me blades? go get the tools, please. Hold. Tell them right. about the Jeep, John. So this is the one you are after, right? Has it got any blurb on it? It does, but I can't actually read it in this light as it's tiny, uh, tiny, tiny writing. Words. It does have a QR code on the back, which looks like an yeah, advert from Jeep. It actually has Jeep, and then this little yeah QR code. So the box tells you there's some like information on it telling you skill level. The one apparently it's is in one. yellow, and the others are different. So we're assuming skill level one. And this kit comes with trailer options. Yes, it does have many options. I.e., a friggin' as you say, a trailer, but you also get a, a howitzer with it. You also get paints. Key feature, hopefully we'll have a little look at those as well. And you get a little squidgy bowl of uh, plastic cement. So, on one level, this is aimed at sort of beginner modelers, isn't it? Because it's got, it's got everything that you need in it, ostensibly. Yes. There's a brush, there's some paints, there's even some poly cement. There's a painting guide on the back of the, back of the box telling you which colours to use the kit. So you can do this as a rank beginner. However, does that look like a rank beginner? This does not look like a beginner model kit. <laughs> That's not a single sheet. Nice full colour painting guide. That's a nice touch. That is a nice touch, telling you what to paint what colour and so forth. I like that a lot. This is a Willys Jeep with a 10 hundred weight or carat weight. See the 10, ten right carat here. weights, yeah. And 75 mil pack house. So you've got... Ooh. The problem with it is... Is this instruction booklet is however many pages long and the instructions start on like page three and go through to page 12 to make a jeep at 170 seconds at 170 these are seconds all 170 seconds which is Show the spring, the i mean I, i'm scared now a lot of kits we see this is not the Flames of War. This kit. is not a yeah. This is not a war gaming kit, is it? This is like your first steps into real model making. Sorry, I'm epically failing here. So it's only two sprues. Only two sprues. Only two sprues. Yeah, but this model is going to be like an inch and a half long. You get a separate canopy, unless it's just popped off. Unless I have a sneaky fall, suspicion yeah, it may yeah, be coming from there. Comes from there. You also get a clear windscreen. A nice inclusion. And possibly some rear lights or the front lights. That's that's okay. So there's quite a bit going on here, actually, considering. Bang for your buck. There's plenty of modelling time here. Oh, now, this might not be as bad as the original, because I think... Oh, no, this has got the sides of the Jeep. But there is a howitzer and a trailer in here. Yes. Which is forming part of it. That's more than one bonnet option there. Yes. Isn't it? So it's, it's really... Is your um, is that your Vickers? The the Vickers LMG. Oh yeah, because it's got the one. round drum. Right. One thing I'm saying. How do you get them off the sprue? That is the thing that's missing, isn't it? There are no side cutters in here. Now that would probably double the price of the kit. Though. Do they push? Do you know I... what? I think I think the sprue gates are easy enough that you can just push, twist, and turn. But whether you'd be able to do that with some of the finer details... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. And my, there are some fiddly bits on here. 
So the kind of chassis, the, the undercarriage, the framework of the vehicle it, it is separate. The instructions are good insofar as they're um, black and white, and then the bit that you're building is in, it's the bit you're adding coded. is colour coded. Is the poly cement? This is that stuff that gets all stringy, isn't it, as you get stuck to well, it? Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the Yoohoo glue or if it's... Oh, man. There's not. There's no seal on that. You're straight in. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little test there to see consistency. Whoa. So it's more It's more like the gel, but not not as stringy as you would expect. Yeah. But it's not like a Tamiya Thin or something like that. This is, this is... So in terms of application of this, that is a bit more problematic i think yes because you just tried to squeeze out a small amount that was that was first go. it See, all over you've just come across this is your first kit it's christmas day you've got oh i need the glue now and yeah. you've squished it and, and you just covered the kitchen table in glue so be mindful of that there's also come with three pots of paint so i thought what we might try and do is we would test the brush and the paint that's a good idea. Do you have something we can test it I've on? I've got a Flames of oh, model of oh. it. Do you want to just grab it? Look. It's this like is, you've planned it. This is already primed. So let's see how this paint wets out. Take that brush. Brush. Can is I... it a zero? It doesn't tell you the... Oh, no. A it two. Seems it's a two, a two. But it seems quite thin for a two. But that is... Well, speculative, isn't it? <laughs> Would you like a uh, lappy to put the paint on? Yeah. Just in let's case of spillage. Let's just do avoid spillage. Let's see what this... Whether this paint is any good. So I don't know whether this is like an acrylic range that Airfix do, or if it's like the old Humbrol. It's not on a Humbrol tin, obviously, but it's definitely not an enamel paint. I mean, you'd smell that before uh, I even got the lid. Please do not sniff um, uh, <laughs> things at home. Like this we are like doing. A, it's a fairly thick acrylic, like a like a Citadel base color. So again, on the assumption that this is your first kit, you haven't got a palette, you have no idea of what you're doing. It's brush straight pot, from the pot. model. What's it looking like, Mr. K? That's not a bad paint. It's not a bad paint. Now, I'm saying that this is primed. Oh. So that's painting onto paint. Now, I don't know what they can do about the fact that you're buying a model kit. They're not going to include a spray I, can in yeah, there. Yeah, I don't think that's their main... And there's not much they can do about the not fact that... Not being funny, but being this part's already off, do you want to put a little bit on the... Shall we uh, try that? This Shall is the actual that? kit. Uh, so this this paint, it is thick. It de definitely is. It is thick. But with a little bit of knowledge and guidance, that's not applied too thick. No. Once you push it around with the brush. So how does it apply directly onto the plastic? Yeah, as expected. Not quite taken. No, it is it is covering it, but you get in two thick coats in this instance. Yeah. So having a look at this, you get in that kind of I can see the coloured plastic under the colour of the plastic underneath. And you're also getting the like streaky brush marks as yeah. you go through it. Yeah. Hmm. But with two coats. Yeah. As a kid, As I wouldn't a, be too fussed about that. Uh, no. <laughs> I'd be quite happy. Now, but the people watching this video, they're not kids. They're, no, they're they going to cringe. They're walking. They're <laughs> no! going to cringe at just watching me do that. <laughs> um, what do I think? This brush is a lot better than a, like, a Games Workshop said, I'll start a brush. This is a decent, a decent brush. It's not curled on first contact. No, so. it wasn't, it wasn't like split in half no. before I started. <laughs> Did it have a cap on or was it loose? It did have a cap. It did have a basic Somewhere. cap. Somewhere. Um, the kit itself. I don't propose to try and build this because I don't want this to be like an, you know, an hour long video. No, no. There um, are more parts than you'd there's want. There's no way I would try and build it with this glue. Just because of the application. Well, you would, and then you'd figure out rather quickly that this you is not don't want to This is not the way yet. to go. I mean, it's good that they included, included the glue. Um, but I, I think... I don't know what their alternative was. There well, is they no could have brought like the Revell. They have they do tiny ones with an applicator. How tiny though? And what's the price point on one of those compared yeah, to a little squishy com bottle? Compared to this, compared to this tiny thing. For existing modelers who just want a bit of a sort of nostalgia trip, the main difference between this and what you would have had as a, as a kid in the in the seventies and eighties is it's not got a Humbrol paints. It is it's still that proper. same poly cement though. That is that like woo. Now, I don't know whether you... I like how you're just casually glue sniffing. Uh, <laughs> I think it's quite <laughs> remarkable. Because I'm, I'm, I'm remembering that, 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 that sort of the best hit. The pieces are small. They are fiddly. But it, it, it looks doable. It's just... It, it's... 
but definitely you would expect a much simpler kit than this nowadays and it does say skill level one yeah and i'm just i'm just not seeing that wanted to see that we are supremely underskilled you or... know i and so if you were going to buy this for your sort of nine-year-old kid yeah important it's not you need to do this for them under eight well i suppose maybe the the idea is you're sitting there you know the fire's on the christmas baubles mm. you got music yeah. playing you just had your fill of food and you mm. sit there with your son or daughter or whoever and work your way through it. I mean, there aren't like tiny parts like headlamps and things, I guess. So I'm not, I'm not seeing. Sorry, you do get decals as well. I'm not yeah. sure that's a beginner choice. I'll go decal. with stickers. You've got four yeah. water so slide decals. You're kind of like a beginner, like going in at the deep end. It's the middle really. round. It's the lower end of like proper of model, model making. making. But yeah. because we're used to war gaming kits now, like the Flames of War stuff, and some of the bow action stuff yeah. they've committed. We have been spoilt. We have been very spoiled for that. Are we going to have a look at the others just, just for the sake? Do you sake? want to have a look at one other? What? Well, we might the tanks are surely going to be Let's less Let's see effort. if the Tiger is easier than the Jeep. Uh, uh, uh. Again, these are um, all aimed at, um, what, not for under eight. So Is that what like it says one, on the box? Yeah, well, it says it specifically be, nine plus or something. It seemed to be in the little... Um, in the, in the instructions. It in the destructions, yeah. Right. Not cool. recommended for those under eight. There's another brush with a, a tip. With a the brush cap. little brush yep. doofer. So oh, we're now ah. we're talking. Now. Oh. Now we're talking. That's looking a lot more like an easy build kit. I'm, I'm a little bit excited about this time. <laughs> being, being like... 10 pieces and, say and 20. it even looks like it's yeah. push fit it's not but uh i think we did an experiment with push fit all right yeah this is a completely different proposition i'm so glad we opened these other kits i'm, I'm glad that you that, that, that we decided to do that out. right so you see this which is the the side of the tank and you see all these spokes for wheels and you're going like oh no mm. but then you see the actual wheels are just full of little holes that, they, I, they, I they can, just mount that I can, way. I can still imagine a bit of frustration as you try and... Try and fit them. And but snap I thought all you had to plug every off. wheel in. That would be bad. That would be bad. So this, this is like a Flames of War kit. It's certainly closer to you know, what I would expect to be a beginner's kit. Yeah, this is much more of a beginner's kit. And it makes a Tiger, which is great. The sides there, the skirts go on afterwards. Now, the only downside to that is you do have to fabricate your box, and that for a beginner might be quite tricky. To get you know you don't have you don't have a full lower hole piece right. to attach everything else to it. This is your lower hole here, and you notice that that is a different shape to the upper hole. That's yes. going to fit in there, and then bits are going to go to the side of it. So there's going to be bits when you need to leave glue to set. These are even more colours in the instructions. This is a better beginner kit, massively so. Okay, so this, this video has changed somewhat. Now we're looking at which ones are actually uh, beginner kits. And I, I think the Tiger one is a definite... A definite winner. Win for start. Three more pots of paint, we're not going to try those. Another another glue. Yep. Which we'll, is there was there. another I'll glue over there. Another brush. Reason. Need to wash that brush later. Tiger, definitely beginner kit. Decals too. Bulk and cross decal sheet, very nice. Bosh, next Let's up. Have a look at the Sherman Firefly. Here's the Sherman Five. An easy build? Or oh, is not? it a five or a Firefly? It says Firefly. The Sherman Five. I think all Fireflies yeah. are Sherman Fives, though. A standard. Well, it looks to have that triple. Oh, the triple brush fell on the block. You look at the destructions. Uh, yeah, this, this looks easy build again. Three more colours. One more glue. Three more colours, one more glue. Yep, yeah, this is across two sprues. Again, wheels and running gear in a single piece. In this case, the entire upper turret is in one piece rather than a few. This is a Firefly because it's got that three-part transmission cover, so it's a British Sherman rather than... It's, ah, a, it's a Sherman subtle. for British service. Right. So on a, right. on a Sherman 5 here, in this knob, is the bow machine gun. And on a Sherman Firefly... There isn't. They remove the machine gunner position and put ammo in it. Oh, because the seventeen okay. pounder ammo is a lot bigger, so to carry more to rounds, they more lose space. that crew position, and that crew space is taken up by ammo. So yeah, again, the the bulk of this now the lower hole though. 
So this has got some interesting keying. This looks very much aimed at beginners. You see the keying triple, in this? Triple, and then you've got all it's of got, that. It's got oh, these... It's even got a these... little picture of the tank in which direction. Look, the turret in the front. And That's everything. a lovely feature. I don't know if you can see it on here. There's, a, there's showing you that which way it's pointing which is going to help you line it all up because again you've got to put these side panels in to this to get to the floor of the tank and i don't know whether it's got a that's the glasses plate this must be part of the back yeah so again you're assembling your box it's a kind of different way to with the, with the a lot of the newer ones you kind of get the lower hull as a single piece or a when you nearly say the, single the piece. The of, of what? The new Airfix kits? No, with the new or so, like with a with the bolt action, even with the artillery stuff, most of the lower hull is a single piece. And that is very much the structure of the vehicle to which you put other things on. Yes, yeah, that's the key. Uh, so, this, like with the taggy, you have to build that lower hull. And that means, yeah. again, for beginners, you've got drying time to worry yeah. about and to make sure it's solid. I can't remember how quickly that stuff dries. Not as um, dry as you, not as quickly as you, not as quickly as you would want. As yeah. a, uh... But again, easy build kit, very nice. Now the stickers on the side of these were any of them different colours. These ones are. There was one which had a difficulty was rating. It the, was it the G? Did it actually have a different it's, color? It's this one. It's the Tiger one. Has got instead of having a yellow as its skill rank is one, and then having the other numbers. Oh yeah. In orange, it's it's not a biggie. It just threw me off. I was like, why is that yeah. so different? And if you can see that, these. But it's nothing. These I'm are sure. white. These are nothing. like a pink or something. Well, I wonder whether it was like this is level one intermediate and this is level one high. Maybe. And whether we'd missed that about the jeep. Maybe. <laughs> whether it was. That seems that the tiger's the only one with that difference. With that that difference. All right. We'll have a look at the Spitfire. So now the I'm, I'm imagining this is going to actually be in the not so not so easy. Oil. Yeah. Uh, so again, you've got four paints four there. Paints and your glue. Of all the paints that would be useful to me, these are the ones I'm most likely to use because I don't have many aeroplanes in my collection, and I don't have like you know like those eggshell the, blue on yeah. the uh, on the colours there. there. So and that yellowish one for the Spitfires. <laughs> this doesn't look bad, John. Doesn't look bad. Same brush, same is brush. It again. All twos, are they? We've not actually checked that. This one actually says Humbrol Airfix number two. Yeah. Humble Airfix number two, number two, yeah, confirmed. Lovely decals, lovely yeah, big, I think nice big round holes. Some nice decals. kits that you pay a lot more money for don't include decals. Yes. These are £6.99 UK British money. You're getting decals, glue, paint, a full kit, hours of fun. This is or an easy paint. build Spitfire. Really? Yeah. I am surprised. Well, there's only two sprues, and there's a lot of space. Glass canopy, beautiful. There for when you put that in after you've painted, you get your little pilot. But look, the, you've built most of the plane just there. by but just you got fuselage, it off. the lower part of the wing that fits into the fuselage, and the wing tips there, the tops of the wings. Yeah, and they there's some, a lot of keying on here, so you're going to line them up here. That's going to fit the top. Landing gear with space for it to be, which is good because you probably I'm, don't want I'm to deploy. I'm pleasantly surprised that it, that I hit. was expecting a um, thousand tiny little a pieces. A thousand tiny little pieces. Now, pro modelers are going to hate this because it's going to be wrong. There's going to be loads of features on this thing that are not here. <laughs> I guess, if that's what you're looking for, yeah. Uh, but And this isn't that kit. So actually, so this for a Spitfire was all right. I, I, was, I, I was worried about this. Yeah, I thought yeah. this was going to be awful. Yeah, like wings in three parts that you've got to carefully align. Yeah, yeah, that so would then end up, you'd end up looking like you've got a gold yeah. wing when the glue's tried. Absolutely. That's, that's a pleasant surprise. So if you bought all of these, so you've just spent thirty. If you quid. just got the Jeep first, you'd be that would put you off for of modelling forever. I mean, it's probably not that bad. The parts are quite small, and it's got a lot more fidelity to it. Like you know, like the, the towing hook and things like that are really small, which just isn't on these other two. So it's an odd thing to include in this range. It does it's seem clearly a one much out. more involved model. Yeah, maybe the way that they think of it. I mean, we look at it as like parts count and parts size is a huge part of that consideration. And and these just when we looked at the 
but the baggy, we were like, that's an easy build kit. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, it's a tank, but they can complicate so, things. So... It's interesting. We started. We started at the. It was meant to be, yeah. It was meant to be a five-minute video, here. but we realised it was worth looking at the rest of it. Um, you have quite a range of paints by the time you finish this stuff. If you were to buy more than one, I'm not sure which paint set they are. I don't know whether it's in the in the inclusion. Um, Do Airfix is... even have their own range of paints? Was there an advert know. on the back? I don't know. It just gives you some numbers. W and was there instructions about water slide decals? I mean, to you guys, none of this matters, They're right? I was thinking, like, what's this like as a beginner kit was our starting point, wasn't it's it? It's got lots of uh, keynotes in their instruction kits, you know, what each marker represents to glue, not glue, yeah. where to glue. Um, but as regards to the paints, I couldn't tell you. One assumes no. Airfix slash Hornby have their own paint range and the yeah. numbers that are provided on the box relate Match to the specific them. colours. Well, as I say, paint and instructions, is that just the address? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the copyright thing. Hmm. This colour, th that was the paint and instruction. Yeah, this so is the paint and instructions, is, yeah. there you go. Uh, positively, um, positively surprised, the I what? suppose. And I think if you bought the range and you did this one last, you'd be perfectly happy with it. Oh, because you've got a, if yeah. you've not touched it before and you've you've got you starting with one of these. Yeah. I, you couldn't make a Spitfire easier than this. No, with it, unless you like didn't have the wheels or something. <laughs> or the you wheels. know, same with it, same with the Sherman. You could make it different, but I don't think you could reduce the parts count very much without serious loss. Yes, of fidelity because that's the way induction. You, you, like you said, this alignment. Yeah, that's, that's it, really useful. It's this, not on the tiger. It's however, not clear which. Well, it's not so clear which way around this goes. Because that is just a rectangle. This is yeah. just a rectangle. Yeah. P positively, very, very, very pleased. I'm surprised that video evolved there. Yeah. So we know that one's. I'd, I'd say this isn't a beginner kit. The Willies. I'd say no. it's maybe like as Kaiser says. If you've ended up with that in your little stash of presents, make sure you do the tanks <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah. To get some skill. Uh, but yeah, what what a present little surprise! Did that bring back enough nostalgia for your uh, this glue did? Uh, it this was glue the did. scent of the glue. So as a as a kid, what I remember about this in building planes is that when I used to go and stay with my dad at weekends, mm. my sister and I get a pound to go to the local news agent. It's a lot of money back then, guys. You could still get things for a halfpenny back then, by the way. That's a half penny for you youngsters. Wow. A halfpenny. And I think it was 49 pence for one of the Airfix kits in the newsagent. So I will buy one, like a jet plane, whatever it was. And I remember glue string. Yeah, I remember... It was that sort of bostic -y Well, I think, of... It, I think it's this stuff. But what I didn't appreciate then, which I know now, is that this, you just haven't demonstrated, is a terrible tool for applying glue to a model this size. Yes. There's, there's no solution to that. It may... Although it would be really interesting if they did that. Say somewhere in there, drop a little pool on a piece of card. And use and the brush. And then use your brush to glue the edges. And then wash out thoroughly after before painting. It might be in there somewhere. I don't know. But, but this, I can't it, imagine it. But is. this isn't that thin. I don't know whether that will work. Whether this would just gum up your brush. Oh, it absolutely would. And, and then you'd, and then it. you'd later, when you come back to painting it, you'd be stabbing it. Because your... I definitely have this kind of glue in, in, in these yes, sort of toothpaste yeah. tubes. Yeah. Um, maybe with a slightly thinner nozzle. So that it was ju it's just interesting. I can look back on that and think it, and think to myself, right, I, this was not the right tool for the job. I get glue with an applicator. And more importantly, I used to me a thin now with brush. And, and that is just so much better. Yeah. What is the way around that for a beginner kit? Do who knows? Who knows? Answers on a postcard. Positively surprised. And we'll get yourself a tiger. If you're looking for a nostalgia, that hit. looks nice. Or a Spitfire, because it was probably planes you built as a kid yep. before you became Fact. a pro war gamer. Uh, all right, guys. Hope this video was useful and interesting to you. Thank you for watching. Bye. -bye. Bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them. It doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.